In this video, I'll be showing you how to hopefully fix your PlayStation 5 giving off a pink display on your TV. So the first thing that you need to do to try and resolve this issue is just simply go to the power icon and then go to turn off and just simply turn off your PS5. Once you have turned off your PlayStation 5, unplug the power cable and also the HDMI cable. Give it about 30 seconds to a minute and then plug the power cable back in and also the HDMI cable. And once you've plugged everything back in, go ahead and turn your PS5 back on. And with a bit of luck, that would have resolved the issues you've been facing with your screen showing a pink display on your PS5. So if that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is just ensure that it's not your TV that's causing the issue. So change the source on your TV and see if you have the same issue on a TV channel or on one of the apps on your TV or something like that. If it's not the TV, then you need to now log into your PlayStation and go to settings. So I'm now going to go ahead and sign into my PlayStation account. Once you're signed in, you then need to go to the top right hand corner and select settings. You then need to go down to screen and video. And we now need to go across on video output and you then need to toggle HDR to off. Once you've done this, the screen will go black and then it will say off and see if that resolved the issue. And straight away on my screen right now, that's resolved the purple pink output that I was getting. If that did resolve the issue, then you can go ahead and try and turn HDR back on if you want. And if you then get the pinkish display, then obviously turn HDR back off. If that didn't resolve the issue for you, then the next thing that you need to do is go down to deep color output. As you can see, mine is currently set to automatic. You need to select this option and you then need to go to off. Again, your screen will go black and then it will say off. See if that resolved the issue. If that didn't resolve the problem, then you can go ahead and turn this option back to automatic. Once you have turned deep color output back to automatic, you will need to also turn HDR back to always on. So once you've done all that, and if that wasn't the issue, then the next thing to do is to reset your PS5, just in case there is something weird going on with your console. But if the issue you're having is only in game, then you're going to have to check you haven't got any color blindness settings enabled or something like that within the game. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.